Hello folks, Rick Adams, your producer for Rick Adams Uncensored on RVN Radio, that's Republic Broadcasting Network, and also The Deadly Experiment. Thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. As you can see by searching on YouTube, you will find a number of programs from my local statewide public access television program, The Deadly Experiment. And that is a weekly excursion. We rerun programs, but they're half hour in length. Hopefully you'll be switching around after this video. Well, today uh, I'm recording this in the end of June. This month has been a very interesting month. We've seen a lot of attacks, false flag attacks. We've seen some stages set up, like in Orlando, uh, with the so-called Pulse uh, Gay Club massacre that we've all been seeing maybe a couple of hundred million times each week on the media. And what we are going through right now is something I've been talking about on my radio and TV programs for a long time. What we've been experiencing is what is called psyoping and mind control. A mind control, a mass hypnosis of the American public to accept a disarmed America. That is uh, an America that will be ready prey for a martial law scenario. Now, right now we're taping this uh, vignette uh, on an overcast day with clouds in the sky and basically no planes up above, no chemtrailing, none of that. But imagine this scenario. Imagine, as we were made to believe, that planes were flying in New York City overboard, overhead, and that they were actually cutting through these buildings, aluminum buildings, steel, concrete, and going out the other side. Imagine that that was real, when in fact we know now that it was not real, that we were being entreated to a Central Command video post in New York where we were told planes were flying through these buildings, which is physically impossible. That's why architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth were publishing madly, and they're still publishing now, to expose such illogical and non-scientific phenomena. But imagine that as we stand here today, and this day is a Wednesday, the middle of the week, that all of a sudden you were to experience bombers coming out of the sky, and you thought it was a training exercise when it isn't. Imagine those planes dropping bombs, dropping missiles, dropping poison packets down to the earth, and you being helpless with no guns, no means of survival, and you would be at the mercy of those who were flying. Now you say, but our air defense forces would countermand that. But what if they were your air defense forces? Hmm? You ever think of that? Folks, just think for a moment that your government is not your government. This government that we have in the United States today is a government that has captured physically and mentally the minds of the American public. We are all captives of it. We are all made to believe these psyops, these so-called shoots are real, when we have no evidence that they have actually taken place. Some in the past have, some have been real shoots, real blood, no fakery, no masquerading, no makeup artists, but others since the time of Sandy Hook and the Boston Marathon bombing exercise have been a drill for the United States government involving the courts, involving the military, involving the local police. Yes, all of it can and has been fake. This book here that I'm holding up right now was written by my good friend and guest uh, on my program many times, Dr. Cass Ingram, also known as Dr. K, uh, Kasim Khalil. And he's written the book, Wrongly Blamed, a number of years ago. This is the first draft, <coughs> excuse me, chemtrail. This is the first draft, initially, to deal with the 9-11 attacks on America. And Dr. K wrote this book, Wrongly Blamed, to make the viewers, the listeners, the readers aware of the fact that this whole 9-11 attack on America was an inside job. It was done by the Pentagon in linkage with the Israeli Mossad in Israel. And none other than Dr. Alan Sabrowski who was retired head of the War College in America, said yes, Israel and only Israel could have perpetrated those attacks in tandem with the Pentagon and the White House. Friends, that is what is in this book. You need to get a hold of this book, 
My email address is rick458 at cox.net. And if you want it, you can have it. You write to me. Wrongly Blamed tells the story of the so-called 19 Arab hijackers, eight of which were totally and completely alive at the time of the attacks, were not killed in any planes, and they were found walking across the face of the earth, most of them in the Middle East and Europe. What's the get-go? What's the reason why Israel and the United States government would commit an act of treason against America, killing nearly 3,000 Americans? Well, pretty obvious, isn't it? The PNAC documents, the Project for a New American Century, had written in advance of 9-11 that these attacks would be planned in order to propel America into foreign aggression in the Middle East. And that's where we are today, to the point where now we are snowballing into the last world war. Things are out of control. Syria is the new launching pad for the so-called ISIS ideology. And the United States is hopelessly involved in that cycle of war for peace for war. So that was the first thing. The second thing was to create a domestic police state, spying on Americans, surveying their contacts with each other. Cell phone technology has mushroom now, satellite communications, to the point where the government now, through the National Security Agency and others, the FBI, CIA, under Homeland Security now, can in fact monitor your conversations despite what congressional legislation has been enacted. Friends, it's about controlling you. It's all about making you an enemy of the state because these people, these diabolical souls in the city of Antichrist, Jerusalem in the last days, and the Pentagon of the United States want a one world global economic and political system. Read it, folks, in the book of Daniel, starting at chapter 2. Daniel prophesied some 2,500 years ago about the days we're living in today. Times are coming to a terminus. You want to be informed and you want to be ready. Be ready to face the enemy with the sword of the Lord. This is Rick Adams. You watch my videos and listen to the programs Saturdays, 2 o'clock Eastern Time on republicbroadcasting.org. Signing off.